Hi, and welcome back to Let's Play. This is Muscle YTG. Okay, so I did promise that we were going to do a Demon Souls playthrough, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Uh, I do know that uh, a lot of people have done Demon Souls playthroughs and things like that uh, on YouTube in the past. Um, so this one's going to be, uh, you know, my my Demon Souls playthrough and uh, you know it's gonna be pretty fun we're gonna try to do as much as we can with this game uh, while we are here so um, yeah I'm just gonna name this guy muscle 420 and we're gonna get started I really appreciate you uh, tuning in and clicking the link and uh, all that good stuff and I hope that uh, you do end up enjoying this playthrough as much as I enjoy Demon Souls because uh, let me tell you this is the godfather of all of the Dark Souls games and Bloodborne so we're just gonna randomize here we're gonna find uh, we're gonna find something that works for us and uh, we're, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get going. Sometimes I feel like this is probably the funnest part of any of these games is just uh, setting the aesthetics of your character. It doesn't really matter in this game, but uh, it is kind of fun. Uh, I am picking the magician. Uh, because we are going to be doing, we're going to be using magic in this playthrough. Um, I have already played through the game once, uh, which was really fun, and I did it with a melee build, um, which I can show. The twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old king Alant had aroused the old one, the great beast below the nexus, from its eternal slumber and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the sane, and chaos reigns. Valarfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon's soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. But none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs. Yurt the Silent Chief. Sage Urbane. Skurver the Wanderer. The Sixth Saint Astraea and her knight Garl Vinland. And Sage Frake the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? All right, pretty cool video there. Uh, so we are going to do the journey to the Nexus. Um, yeah, we are going to do that. Uh, it is the quote-unquote tutorial. 
Um, I don't think I've ever beat the, the tutorial boss, but uh, one of these days I am going to do it. <laughs> I'll do like a boss montage video or something. That'll be fun. Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. Alright, so we're just gonna... We're gonna haul ass right through this tutorial place. There, it is good to go through because you get a few items. Uh, you get some extra crescent moon grass, and uh, it's just a good little warm-up spot. But yeah, I am playing this on the PS3. This is not on an emulator, so uh, this is the authentic Demon Souls experience. I do have the physical copy of the game, and I also have a digital copy. So I definitely bought it twice. <laughs> Looks like the iframes are really nice in this game too. Um, once you get the hang of dodging and stuff like that, like honestly, this game really isn't that difficult comparatively to, let's say, like Bloodborne or something like that. This game really isn't that difficult. And the uh, fall damage is almost non-existent in this game, too, which is interesting, because uh, fall damage gets ramped up as you go through the Souls games. Uh, check that damage out. One hit. Over 200 damage on a counter. It's crazy. It is not like that uh, with the sword that I'm wielding right now. The sword does a 30. Yeah. Very, very low damage. Alright, so, I, I am cutting out the load screens for the most part, if I can, in this game. Uh, so anyway, as you can see, the, the sword weapon really isn't that great. Uh, but that's not why we picked this class. We picked this class to um, be able to use magic, because magic is... Uh, probably as powerful as it ever will get in a Souls game. Little parry action there. Because why not, right? up that half moon grass. Now there is a glitch that I will probably end up using in this game just to get the items. Um, it's an item duplication glitch. Never got patched out of the game. Super easy to use and I will give a little tutorial on it um, probably next episode. Pairing is just amazing in this game. I, I do enjoy it. Um, it gets a little harder as as you progress, but uh, it's not too bad right now. Get some more crescent moon grass there. Three of them off that one enemy. I'm gonna take one just to top us off here. All right. Now first. First uh, to do here is to go get the half moon grass, get two of those. And let's take this guy. Oh boy, he got us all, every single one. So what we did there was we pressed up and light attack. And what that does is that pushes an enemy off of you. 
and it staggers them for a moment. Uh, that and then that allows you to go ahead and um, attack them. So that fog up there is a boss fog. You can kind of tell the difference. Yeah, and this boss just destroys me because, uh, you know, why not, right? Now, who would have thought that boss could have uh, swung and reached all the way across the arena? Anyway, you, you end up running into this boss again a little bit later. Yeah, it won't be a big deal. We'll end up fighting him again, and we'll, we'll get our revenge. You have died and the Nexus has trapped your soul. You cannot escape the Nexus. However, by capturing demon souls, you can reclaim your physical body. And we get the Nexial Binding. That's actually an integral component to uh, the item glitch. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the art stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed volatarium. Alright, so we're going to go check back here. Um, pretty sure the NPCs are not going to be around. Oh my, has God abandoned us for failing to show proper respect to King Alant? Oh, Mbasa. Okay, now we're going to check on the other side here. Uh, the other side over here is where we're going to be going a lot. Um, there's going to be an NPC back here that's going to sell us um, sorcery spells. And we are going to be using those sorcery spells quite a bit. But first we need to go talk to um, the little monk thing. Actually, no, we're not talking to the monk thing until later. That's right. Uh, first we're going to a Boletarian Palace. And this is going to be uh, basically 1-1. One, one. This is going to be the first level. Because that whole uh, first 10, 10 minutes that we just spent was uh, tutorial land. So uh, this is going to be uh, level 1. Okay, and here we are, level 1-1. One, one. Now, uh, coming up these uh, stairs here, we're going to have a lot of these little guys. Just give them a little bit of distance when they jump at you like that. And uh, you know, try to trigger the jump and then just move back just a little bit. And you'll be able to easily avoid uh, their attack. I suggest, especially uh, in the first bit here, uh, you to two-hand your weapon. Gives you just a little bit extra damage, and it makes it so you can kill the enemies just a little bit faster. It's uh, it's a really good way to go. It's definitely something I would recommend. Okay, 
Okay, we're just making quick work of these enemies here. We got two more up here, and then we got two more after that. And then the only way we're going to be able to go is to the left. Once we get up there. And the backstab always is a good option here. The backstab will give you a little bit of bonus uh, damage. And we're going to try to not use our magic a lot in this. Uh, but we're going to fail a little bit on that. It's okay, though. You get plenty of... Um, you get plenty of the spice and stuff like that later. Especially if you do the item dupe. Yeah. You can always trick one of those guys to fall in there. Uh, this, the other guy typically won't. Sometimes you can get him to do it by getting him to jump like that. But uh, most of the time, no. We go up here, we kill this crossbow guy, then pick up the item. It's going to be half moon grass. It's going to be a guy immediately to the right. So this guy here. And then there's going to be a guy through that door. And one more guy here. And then you should be clear to grab uh, the item back there. Fire bombs, uh, very very good item to have, and you should hold on to them. Don't be like me in this playthrough uh, on this first level here. You should definitely hold on to those as best you can, because there is a speed strategy for the boss of this area. And if you don't do it with the fire bombs, it's actually much much more difficult. And uh, you'll see because I screwed up the strategy by using the fire bombs. And, uh, yeah. That's the mail breaker. That's actually a pretty good dex weapon. Um, typically, we're not going to use that. We're probably not going to use that at all in this playthrough. But I think I did plus 10 it, or plus 15 it, or something like that, um, one time. And these, all these enemies here that throw firebombs, they do have chances to drop extra firebombs, which is actually kind of nice. Um, considering you may need to use a fire bomb or two. So it's always nice that uh, you can you have the chance to pick up a couple extra. Just in case. Those guys, it seems like they always hit you with that diving attack no matter what. This guy throws fire bombs, just be aware. Or no, he doesn't. He uh, he does the diving bomb as well. And for some reason, even though I dodged, it still hit me. Now, this guy almost killed me here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and heal up. And as you've noticed, we do have half health. That's how you start this game. Half health. Um, and there's really no way to change that. Uh, except for beating the boss. And that's the only way... That is literally the only way to get your uh, full health back. Is to... Uh, beat the boss, at least for now. Eventually you will get an item that allows you to restore your humanity, but that also, uh, if you use it in uh, too many times, um, and you keep dying and you keep using it, uh, it will make the game much harder for you. So, um, there's a thing called World Tendency, and that is, basically when you do that you make your World Tendency black, and when you have a black world tendency, you it, it just the enemies get tougher, they hit harder, they have more health, and uh, you get invaders and stuff too that that come in and just make your day ridiculously tough. So we're gonna go down here and grab this item here. Uh, looks like it is more half moon grass, uh, more welcome healing items. I'll try to get that item eventually down there. Um, I don't know if I ever figured out how to get that item or not. Maybe I did. I don't know. And here comes the ball. You can dodge roll through that if you'd like, um, but I didn't really want to try doing that. But you, it is possible to just dodge roll through that. We're going to go this way first here. Um, I don't recommend doing this unless you have a ranged build, some sort of like, uh, like what I'm running right now, uh, because there is a very difficult item, uh, enemy 
that gives you almost as many souls as the area boss does for defeating it. So uh, it is definitely something um, to try if you'd like to. And uh, it is something that can give you a nice boost in souls if you're not planning on doing the dupe glitch for anything. Um, so I, like I said, I am doing the dupe glitch for the most part. Um, one day I will do a soul level one playthrough just to try it out. I think that might be fun. But uh, yeah, for now we're just doing, uh, okay, we stunned him. Now it's time to hit him. All right, we hit him again. One more. There we go. And that is beautiful. Now look how many souls you get. You get 2,070 souls for these guys. And the reason being is because they can kill you in one hit. If he hits you once, you're dead with that charging spear attack. And that door is locked there. Um, we'll probably get a key for that eventually. We're going to head on down to the other side here. And if you haven't before, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification bell and give this video a like if you like it. Uh, definitely uh, appreciate it. It helps out a lot. So anyway, we got some uh, the blue eye guys. They're, they're not too bad. These guys aren't the... Uh, definitely not as bad as those red eyed guys. And they only give you 300 souls. I say only, but you know that's that's actually quite a bit for uh, this area. But um, like I said, that that red eye guy gives you about as many souls as you get when you um, beat the boss. So I used a firebomb there, gonna kill those guys. All right, and uh, so now we're at the big long staircase. You can actually, there's a ways to roll right down these, and you'll be fine. So I do skip that. There's a door there on the left that I skipped. Uh, you got to go in there, and you got to cut those chains. But uh, we'll get to it. But right now, we're just trying to... Uh, Snipe these guys if we can. Okay, here they come. We got one of them. That wasn't too bad. We missed that guy. I'm gonna wait for him to loop around here. Nah, we'll get him. Perfect. 211 damage with the counter. Just a beautiful attack there. Okay, we're going to pull that lever. So what that's going to do is that's going to open up the first uh, the first shortcut. So th what that does is that opens up the first shortcut there from the, uh, the place where you first start off at the bonfire. You start running up um, and you take that left. Well, this opens up that gate. So we're going to cut these chains here. And now we're going to go up the rest of the way. Up, 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 up. Lots of backtracking here. We're going to go all the way back up. And we're going to go through the fog gate. So... Yeah, we're just going <laughs> to throw some firebombs here. Get this place opened up here. Kill that guy. I'm going to head on down here. Okay, we're, we're getting a little over our head here. Getting in a little over our heads. Uh, it's not too bad right now, but it will. Okay, 
I was trying to get a little fancy there. Uh, didn't didn't really work out all that well, but uh, we'll take a, we'll take one of those healing items and uh, we'll be fine. Just gonna grab this here. Get the halberd. Halberd is a really really good weapon. And uh, through here, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a merchant. Good day to you. Care to look over my wares? Mostly stolen, but who's telling you? It's a dragling merchant. Kind of odd. Like the first merchant there in Dark Souls. Kind of interesting, but uh, it doesn't really sell anything good here. Um, maybe the crossbow, and I debated it, but um, I decided on not buying the crossbow. I probably, sh in hindsight, I probably should have brought some firebombs. Yeah, and that's what he's talking about. The uh, well, at least the demons don't send us to our deaths in battle. <laughs> yep, what he meant there was uh, world tenancy, where you get hunted down. But anyway, if you found this video without being a subscriber, please consider subscribing. It helps way more than I can articulate, and it means a lot to me and the channel. Also, follow me on Twitch for more games uh, and gameplay such as this and many others. Let me know in the comments. If you liked or didn't like this video, and I will try to respond as soon as I see it. And this will also let me know if I'm doing things right for you. Feel free to check out the links in the description, and I will see you next time in the next video. And uh, this is Muscle YTG signing out. See you next time, guys. Episodes 2 coming. It'll be the second half of this area. Alright, bye-bye.